Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick overview of Gate Pass Generator. So I have already started the project and this is my login page. Okay, so this project I have developed in C Sharp and for the database I have used MS SQL. Okay, so let's start with a quick overview. So in this module, I have two users role. Basically one is admin and one is employee. Okay. So first I'm going to log in with the admin. So my username for that one is admin and the password is pass. So if I click on login and here we go to the dashboard that is admin dashboard as you can see it over here. So some of the functionalities is only for admin. So it will be visible only in the admin dashboard, not in the employee dashboard. So first we will explore the admin dashboard and after that I will show you the employee dashboard. So here in the employee section, First, the admin can actually add an employee, update employee, view all employee and delete employee. So first I'm going to add one employee. Okay, so I'm going to name something like this. Okay, so I'm going to name something. So I'm going to use Alok, something like this and this higher date is today date and the number is 00121212200, something like this. That is a random number. So mail and address is India. City is Indore, state is MP, username is Alok and the password is also Alok. If I save it and here you can see this employee added successfully, click on OK and here you can see everything is reset. If I try to save it once again with the empty fields, then it will show that fields empty, filled and try again. So if I'm going to fill Alok again, and I'm going to change the higher date. I'm going to just add a random number like this. Gender mail, India, city something like this, state MP, username again, Alok and Alok something like this. And if I save it and here you can see this username already linked with another account. So make sure whenever you sign up or whenever you add employee that you have to add a new username. Okay, so this is all about this add employee stuff. So let me close this. Move back over here and go to the update employee. And here you can see this, we have to find from the username. So Alok, and if I search over here, and here you can see this, everything is visible over here. Okay, so I'm going to update the name like Alok Sharma, something like this, and update this employee, update it and click on okay, and everything is reset now. So if I search it again and here you can see this now, this time I got this Alok Sharma. Here we also have a reset button and if I try to update it once again, employee not found because with suppose I have written some wrong username and if I try to search is employee not found and still I want to update then for sure we are going to get this employee not found. Okay. So if I change this one to Alok and search it once again, then we have this data, right? So whenever we reset, then every data is removed. Only this text field data is over there. It means that we have to search again. Then only we can update, right? So if I try to change the data username, then username is changed. Then all the fields are clear. If I search it, here you can see this employee not found. This is how it works. So let me close this. Now we move further to the view all employee. So if I click on this and here you can see this, we have two employee, one is Saurav and another is Alok Sharma. So if I click on this, you can also search it over here like Alok, you can search it like Saurav and we have added multiple validation. You can search for multiple fields like uh, you can uh, search for by name, by other stuff. Okay. So in this, I guess I have added only the search for this name. You can add multiple stuff as per your choice. You have to change in the queries. I will let you know how to do that. Don't worry about that. Okay. So let me close this. Here we go move further and we have one delete employee option. So click on this and here we have to search for that employee which you want to delete So search like this one. And here we have this. So if you want to delete this employee, so just delete this one, employee deleted, click on OK. And if I try to search it once again, and here you can see this employee not found. So if I delete and go over there, and here you can see this now, sort of is not available over here. So this is all for this employee function. So next we go to this visitor. So click on this, add new visitor. And 
here we come up with the interesting part so in the visitor you can add the images here we can put the images so suppose I haven't added anything right now and this is a random visitor ID which will be generated whenever you click on this add visitor here you can see this this time we have a new number or visitor ID whatever you can say and you have to upload one picture so suppose if I click on save without adding any data so here you can see this picture not selected so you have to click on this it will open your local system uh, directory you can change the path for now I have selected the C drive so that it's opening the C drive directly so I'm going to download and I'm going to use one image over here so this one and click on open and here you can see this now if I click on save so here you can see this fill military fields and try again because image is selected so it this time it's not showing that please select the image so this time I'm going to add the other stuff like Sam contact number 000 something like this mail address UK unique ID it may be a Aadhaar ID or something like that so I'm going to just add a random number something like this and now if I save it and here you can see this now visitor is added okay and here you can see this now this complete stuff is reset and the visitor ID is also changed because for the new user suppose if you want to add a new visitor then this ID needs to be different because every visitor have a unique ID and we also have a reset button over here suppose I have added some data over here and one more stuff which I need to be very specific that in the contact field you cannot add string over here so I have just here you can see this I'm trying to type a B C something like this but I can't able to type it so if I try to type one two three something like this I can type it right we have added the random data so now I'm going to click on this reset and here you can see this now everything is changed whenever I click on reset and here you can see this now the visitor ID is changing so let me just close this and move further to the update part of the visitor so if I go over here so here we have to type the visitor ID as I have already told you that visitor ID is continuously changing so visitor ID is little bit long so let me just close this and move back over here and here we have option to view all visitor so here we have multiple visitor and we have added Sam again over here so I'm going to copy this visitor ID so let me just copy this close this and move back over here and update click on update visitor and click on over here so click on this and search the visitor and here you can see this now we have this visitor so if you want to upload or update the image so click on this one simply go to the documents and whatever the image you want to update just select that and update so I have just uploaded some of the random images from the Google you can use any other image so I'm just showing these images for demonstration purpose only okay so if I move back over here and click on this again if I go over here and here we go and we have also fixed one small issue so previously I have developed multiple C sharp project with using the third party dependency so from now onwards I'm not going to use any third party dependency you can directly develop by following all of my videos in any Visual Studio versions okay so this is how this update visitor works so if I click on this you can view and as well as you can search over here okay so next thing we move to the this generate pass so if I click on this and here we have all the visitors over here so if I want to search someone like Sam and even I can search for Gaurav something like this so if I'm going to select this one and here we have this this data we I have actually added previously so we can select any data as per your choice so I'm selecting this one and let me just remove this and select this one Sam which we have added right now okay so here we have the pass color on the basis of the validation so if the pass is for one day pass then the color will be this one if the pass is for two to seven days pass then the color will be yellow and if it's more than one week then the color will be like this and by default this green color will be visible over here suppose I'm going to select this 24 so here you can see this 24 12 and 2022 is selected if I am trying to select some older date than today so it will say select today date or date after today 
so we just click on ok and select this 24 and if i try to select 24 before this 24 date so select date after valid from date so this is the valid from date so it's asking us to select the date after 24 so again i'm going to select this 24 here you can see this now the validation date is 24 to 24 so that's why the color for this one is this gray if i am changing this one to 25 so you can see this now the color is yellow and if i'm going to ch change this one for more than one week so here you can see this now this is a different color so if i click on this generate button so you can see this now this printing happens and this is how this pass will be generated and even you can print it over here or you can save it as pdf in your system okay so whatever the header you want to put you can put it over here so i have just added this period days gate pass you can add any other stuff you can use it this one in multiple places so let me just close this this is how the pdf is generated and once pdf is generated you can also validate that pass so let me just close this go to the validate pass and here we have this multiple passes okay so we have one pass for sam which is expired because it's showing in the red color and if it's valid then it will be in green color so if i move back to the right till bit and here you can see this now the validation valid from date is 17 12 2022 and the valid to date is also 2022 if i click on this one 18 20 12 2022 to 24 12 2022 so it's valid if i click on this one this one is invalid and the same way right now we have created this one and this is valid okay so here the pass color will be not visible on the basis of date and other stuff if you want to show it you can show it as well okay so this is how uh, you can validate the pass at the whenever someone is entering in your premises so you can validate over here you can also search it like this one sam we have uh, actually generated three pass for sam you can also generate multiple pass for multiple users okay so let me just close this next thing we have this filter pass so if i click on this and here we have multiple stuff if you want to search this is the filter type so if you want to filter on the basis of date so you can select this valid from and here you can see this this pass is valid from 17 12 2022 so you can select like this so only the date will which will be valid from 17 12 2022 that will be visible over here so i'm going to reload all the data now move back over here so for the 19 date we have two records so i'm going to select the 19 so click on this one and here you can see this we have two records next thing you can also search for by name and by other stuff like vid and we have five six six zero nine nine zero three on the basis of visitor id you can also search so this is how you can filter all the passes okay for the quick access to the pass let me close this and another thing which we have is logout feature and we have the exit feature exit feature we completely uh, put us out from our application when you click on the logout we move back to the login page before we move to the login page it's asking for the confirmation you want to log out if you click on no you will remain on the admin dashboard if you click on yes you will move to the login page and here as i have told you that some feature are available for the admin only and some feature are available for the employee okay so we have registered our look so i'm going to use that our look and our look and if i click on login and here you can see this this is an employee dashboard and you must observe that here we don't have that add employee section even the employee complete section is invisible because admin can only add the employees employee cannot add another employee or update details about another employee like that everything like add visitor update visitor view visitor everything can be performed except that add employee part by the admin sorry by the employee okay so that's it for this video guys from the further videos onwards i'm going to explain how to develop this step by step so just stay tuned subscribe and follow for more